it's kind of an overview um, for the X-Trades Pro Algo. And we'll just dive right in. Uh, first, we'll go over pretty much what we see on the screen here, and we'll keep it super sweet. Um, over here, we have our custom dashboard. This will display the volume, volatility, the RSI, the low of day, and the high of day. And this will be adjusted, of course, over each candle and each time frame. This will maintain different stats according to what time frame you use to trade on. Um, over to our right, we have the chop index. And what this does is it will actually measure the market movements um, for this time frame. So if you were to switch it to, we'll say, uh, the 15, just to show you an example really quickly, um, if it'll load here, the chop index should be significant, a little higher uh, than the previous five minute time frame. Second to load. Yeah, so we have a 42.77 on this side, which is just expressing caution as we have little movement. Heading back to the five. Um, behind, you'll see these little red and blue boxes. These are going to be your automated and built-in supply and demand zones. And this comes defaulted, uh, turned on for the X-Rates Pro Algo. Moving here, you'll see this yellow line. This is going to be a directional trend channel. And this is also live and automated uh, per time frame. And this will adjust as the candles move. However, the market is currently closed. But I'll do a short replay at the end of the video so you guys can see everything working in tandem. For our short and long entries, these will be, ba will be based off uh, correlation of triggers. Um, and once they do occur, so for instance, right now we have a short right here popping up on JPM for our example. We have a short trigger right above our supply and we have an entry. Normally we want to wait for a candle close to take these and that'll be standard across the long signal as well. And then once the signal triggers, the automated TP1, 2, and 3 will populate along with a generated stop loss pretty much right back above our supply zone. From here, we're going to take a deeper dive into the settings and kind of go over what we can customize and adjust completely for user experience. So starting from the top, there's actually two functionalities for this algo. We have a scout mode and we have a safe mode. And I'll turn this on so you guys can see the difference. Now what you want to see is just right here, the, uh, the alert parameters completely change. Yeah, bear with me, it's, it's slow. Perfect. So you can see we had three triggers here um, previously, and now we're just rocking with two. But this is completely up to the user on how they, how they would like to utilize the algo. Uh, from here, the uh, stop losses will be set with a current display that's defaulted to our liking. Of course, this is customizable and you can use it, but I recommend not uh, changing anything to do with the stop loss and target lines unless you know what you're doing and are experienced. Moving down, we have built-in Fibonacci levels. So these will populate, they're default to off, but you can turn those on. And these are gonna be for all Fibonacci traders. And of course, this will attach to whatever time frame you're using, but we'll take a look at this once it populates. Perfect. Yeah, you guys can see that. Um, we do have a few options defaulted on here as well. Um, you can just extend these lines to cover all previous candles. And then from here, you can adjust the color. We have it defaulted to gold, um, just for that golden zone, if you know how to use fibs. Uh, but of course, you can change anything completely that you'd like to. Uh, from here, our dashboard table. This is gonna be this right here, kind of the utility box. Um, we have these uh, customized to whatever liking you could, uh, you could want. Uh, top left, top right, middle. Um, and then we can change the look back period as well for the volatility strength and for the dashboard color. So if you don't like the yellow defaulted, um, you could change these to blue, pink, whatever. 
pull this here. Uh, again, back to our chop index. Again, this measures the market movement and basically acts as a guide to tell you when to trade and when not to trade. Um, so from here, again, we have a neutral zone. Um, but once it were to get some decent movements, uh, it would turn green. And that's for um, and a movement to where the range is good and it's nice to trade. Uh, and then again, if it's red, it's expressing caution, don't trade. It's not meeting the standards for the chop index. Uh, you can change the location of this as well. Um, but again, up to your liking. Next, we have the supply and demand zones. As you can see by these blue and red boxes, you can change the colors of these. Uh, it won't change the parameters or anything like that. Completely just a customizable setting that's built in. All right, next, let me disable the, the fibs so it's easier to see for you guys. Okay, perfect. So with the trend channel, this will move in tandem with the candles. So it will tell you when the trend is moving up and 90% of the time they bounce off our automated trend channels. We do have fibs built into these levels here and you can just disable those if you'd like and also change the color and pretty much customize it to however you would like. So if you want arrows pointing down as well, you can change that and the defaulted colors for the actual channel are yellow. Again, completely customizable to your liking. But we'll show you this um, at the end of the video and how everything works in tandem. Next is the Stellar Cloud. The Cloud Variation, which has multiple functions as well. Uh, we have, have that defaulted uh, to the HMA. Uh, and this pretty much will act as a guide if you're familiar with Ripster Clouds. Uh, you can change these. We have multiple load back periods. Uh, if you want to scalp, we have them set for 13. And if you want to swing trade or hold on to those little longer trades without using a day trader, just whenever. Um, we have these set for 55. I currently have a set at 47. It's a happy little medium that you can use. But I will show you an example of what it will look like, uh, per se, if you're using the scalp frame and the scalp default setting. So we'll go to 13 and wait for this to populate. And you should see a dramatic change in this formation here. Yeah, just give it time. Perfect. So you can see how constricted the cloud is once it gets to this little choppy range. It's for a more experienced trader, but we have them defaulted again to the higher setting for a more smoother trade. Here at 47. It's also just a much more cleaner look for the uh, for the average trader. Perfect. Go to the style. Of course, if you don't like any of these settings, you can change them as well, but pretty basic. Uh, overall, I wanted to go through each setting with you guys. And again, we're gonna be using this on streams in the future. Uh, and hopefully just get this out to the public Next, we are going to use the replay feature, and this will give you a nice detailed description of how the entire algo works as one. So you can see each setting, the alerts, the automated stop losses, and the entire dashboard working as a unit. So we'll start with the, uh, pretty much just from Thursday. So we'll use a multi-day function here, and we'll scan it in real time. And we'll start with this trigger. I will speed it up a bit for you guys to see so we're not sitting here for a while. Perfect. So again, I want you guys to keep an eye on the entries that are coming up, which will be the shorts, the longs. Keep an eye on the volume, volatility, RSI such for this dashboard, and also watch the chop index and this trend channel here that we're going to see. And then in the background, you're going to see all the supply and demand zones being broken, etc. And this will be the full effect of the algo.
All right, so from here, there's a short entry. We're just waiting for the candle close below. Perfect, we got the candle close. Working through every supply zone. Again, it's moving incredibly quick. There's a long down here. Hitting all three target zones. Broke all supply. And now we're just waiting. We're in this choppy zone. You can see the index moving. So now we're just breaking supply. We got the short. Hitting TP1 and 2. Trying to break this demand here. Didn't quite get it. Now we're going long. Breaking, index is moving, and the channel is adjusting. So a quick little video uh, overview. And again, there will be more of these. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a ton more education and content coming to the algo. And we're so excited to bring it to you. Thank you.